Well, hey there, entrepreneurs. Welcome to 30 Days of the Canon M50. If you haven't already downloaded the free PDF guide on the first video, that's just about a minute long, make sure you go back to the beginning of the series, get that free PDF on the best settings for video for the Canon M50. But otherwise, let's jump into today's video. Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'm gonna to be covering the Canon M50 Creator Kit, an unboxing of sorts of it, and just my first impressions after using the Canon M50 Creator Kit for a while. So I'm super pumped to get into that, so let's jump into it. So first things first, when you first get the, it's a lot of first already, <laughs> when you get the Canon M50 Creator Kit, what you have included is the Rode Video Mic Go that comes in this box. You have the camera box itself, and then it is packaged inside this box here. And that's pretty much all it is. So I didn't do an actual unboxing because I've already been using it. And then two, that's, we just kind of skip over a lot of the stuff that's included in there. So let's just get down to the meat and the potatoes and the stuff that you're actually gonna be needing and using out of these boxes. Okay, so with that stuff out of the way, let's get into the actual contents that you're gonna be using. Of course, it comes with the battery pack that flips out, it just plugs into the wall, that's all it is, and the actual Canon M50 battery. And the kind that goes in the N50 is the LPE12 battery, and it's a relatively small battery compared to some other ones like my Panasonic J85 battery that I'm recording on right now. And then just the one that even came in the uh, Canon M3 and the Canon M6 is a, a larger battery. They use the Canon LPE 17 in those. But this comes, of course, you get the camera and uh, it comes with this cap over it. It just is very simple, very basic. So you get the camera, get the Rode Video Mic Go. And this is a, a pretty decent microphone. It actually is fairly expensive and you get it cheaper by getting it in the bundle than you would just buying for it yourself. And this portion down here is uh, metal, it has some metal components, and then mostly plastic for the most part, little bungee uh, TRS that works in microphones. So this, if ever gets messed, messed up, then you can always replace this cable. But this is a really good quality cable and I actually really, really like it. So that's one thing that I like, unlike some other microphones that you'll get that has this already pre-attached and there's no way to detach it. So if the cord goes back, but the microphone is still good, then you're, you're just gonna have to get a whole new system versus, versus this one, you can just replace the cable. So I really enjoy that one. You get the Canon EFM lens. This is the 15 to 45, and this is what it's like um, at its widest setting, which is the 15 millimeter. And if you extend it out to 45, it barely changes, but it condenses down just to this travel size. So if you're not using it, if you have it packed in a bag, then it is much smaller. And that's something that I actually really like. Um, I've also used the Canon M3 and M6, and it has the 18 to 55 millimeter. That was the lens that I had that was typical kit lens with the Canon M3. You also get this SanDisk memory card, um, 32 gigabytes, which is a nice size, but I'm not really keen on this particular card. And then of course, out of all of the papers and stuff, of course you got your registration papers and all that good stuff. Only thing worth really pulling out is the actual manual book. I would definitely encourage you with as much as they packed into this little camera, definitely encourage you to check out the manual. Um, you can also download this and get the electronic version, which may be easier, but this is the only thing out of the papers that is really necessary and worth looking at. Overall, uh, most people talk about the camera being, you know, feeling plasticky. It has a matte finish, so it's not, you know, super plasticky. It's I've definitely held cheaper quality cameras, like the Canon Elf uh, point and shoot camera that I've had. That's a plasticky camera. This one, it just feels like a plastic body camera. It doesn't feel like it's cheap. So that works out for me. I don't have the biggest hands, but this is still a relatively small camera. When I compare this to my point and shoot camera, which is a little bit of a higher end point and shoot camera, camera kind of puts you in the mindset of the uh, Sony RX100 series cameras. It just has a flip up screen and does 4K video and all that good stuff. But you know, as far as size comparison, they're pretty close. 
pretty, pretty close without the lens on it. Now, even though I wasn't vlogging a whole lot, I definitely didn't want to take a thousand dollar camera out and about and be using it just for everyday videos. Yes, I have the Panasonic ZS70. That's a really great camera. But at the same time, there are certain things that I wanted and especially the microphone input that I get here with the M50. And actually from the Canon M3, M6, M50, they have some really good preamps. Usually for most of the cameras, you have the audio jacks at the very, very top of the camera. And it sucks because unless you're just this close and you're using the camera, they can't hear you if for whatever reason, you left your microphone or something like that and you had to use it. At least they put the microphones in the front. So it is built for vlogging and you can just really get out and use it and it, it's, it's awesome. So this is a sample of the audio from the Canon M50 just at arm's length and I'm using the Rode VideoMic Go audio on it just so you can kind of see what that sounds like. Okay, so now this is just the built-in audio that's built into the Canon M50. Did not change the audio levels or anything like that from when I had the microphones plugged in. So this is what the audio sounds like with the microphones that they face towards the person that's talking, which is really neat and really cool so that you can just get clean audio even if you don't have microphones. So that's something that's really cool. So later in this series, I'm gonna be covering like specifically memory cards and all kinds of things that you can use, but let's just do like a quick overall thing of a few likes and dislikes of me using it thus far. Again, it's my first impressions of it and it's just some things that I've found along the way. So again, with this particular camera, honestly, everything that they give you in this creator kit is stellar. I like it, I love it, it's great. And it's, I'm really shocked at just how well I enjoy this camera. A couple things that I've swapped out and changed along the way is the vlogging microphones that I've used, the memory cards, and I actually like using the um, vlogging well, it's not a vlogging lens, but just the lens that comes with it, the regular kit lens to vlog with. I haven't bought the 11 to 22 millimeter lens to give you a much wider shot, kind of like this one versus it being more zoomed and cropped in. But this one isn't that bad. I've tested out the difference and it's not that big of a difference to make, you know, me want to go out and spend an extra three or so hundred dollars on that lens from 11 millimeters to 15 millimeters. Um, regardless as to what it converts to from a full frame, full frame camera to uh, APS-C or crop sensor camera, it doesn't matter. I think this is just fine. I've tested it out vlogging. I get plenty of coverage of what I need to and seeing it's just like, I don't know, that's a personal preference, but that's my thing. Something else I've swapped out if I want to use, you know, specific audio, this microphone is pretty big. So let's just, put this on here, not that bad, but it does stick out a little bit here. And this is pretty big and goofy looking in my opinion. It's okay, you don't have to buy a microphone because it already works, but I'm not a fan of how big this is. I already don't like causing attention to myself when I'm out vlogging, so I swapped it out for something different. So let's move this one off. And most people like the Rode video mic me or whatever it's called just like this one but th this one in my opinion is a little bit better i like this this is a movo shotgun microphone and this if i'm you know absolutely just out and about needing great audio whatever this is what i'm using and this actually comes with a wind muff so i can pop this on here and it works just fine and it's a much smaller setup than having this thing, you know, just feeling weird. I don't know, it's just something about it that makes me feel weird and it's way shorter. Overall, I love the Canon M50. That is not something I thought I would say. I did not think that I would love this camera because I bashed it so bad, but that's because where the price point that Canon had it at, which was like $899, it's close to $1,000 after taxes. You're talking about spending, you know, 900 plus dollars for this creator kit um, and just the camera and stuff. And it's just like, no, compared to the Panasonic JD5. 
but the fact that now it has dropped down in price is more comparable to like your Fuji XT100 and stuff like that. And when you start getting that really lower price range of stuff, you know, like five and six hundred dollars, now it's properly priced. Now it's, you know, where it should be. And now it's like, okay, I can see it for what it is instead of comparing it to the G85 and all the limitations that are artificially built into the camera. So I really like it. I give it two thumbs up. I love it. And it's just really, really awesome. Once you swap a couple things out, customize it for yourself, you got yourself a really fantastic vlogging camera.